Hi all, this is a quick video to show you the features of Rapid Trader Beta 13, or rather, it's not called Rapid Trader anymore. We've now picked our name for the product. It's going to be called Profit Bench. And so all the future releases will be called Profit Bench. What I would like to say, before you install this version, please uninstall Rapid Trader. You won't lose any of your settings. It's just uh, we want you to get rid of the old version. Right. First of all, if you see in the configuration options here, you can see there's a place to put your username and password. And for the inquisitive amongst you, you'll also see this resend trade stats. Now what we're building at the moment, we have a trade statistics server where your trade data will be sent and you've got to go there and look at more in-depth analysis than you can see on the positions monitor here. So we're not going to put charts and graphs on this screen. We're going to put them on the website. So if you don't want your trading stats to be sent to our website from now, don't put your username and password in there. Now, it's okay if you don't want to send them now, but do later. You can click resend trade stats and it'll just dump everything up to the server. But I just wanted to tell you about that so you're not sending data to us without actually knowing about it. We have some new features in this version. Let me just uh, open up another dome. Okay. Right, so there's a, a pretty standard jigsaw dome for the S&P. First thing we've done, current trades in the volume profile. Somebody just asked me about this on the jigsaw chat. So we can do appearance, volume profile, show current trades. And what you'll see, you'll see what's trading right now on the volume profile right here. Very simple feature. The other one we've got is on the snapshot. If we click parameters. We can actually merge a snapshot and what that does just to show you it puts the snapshot for both sides in the bid snapshot column and obviously what we can do when we've got that up there is actually turn off the ask snapshot now i know some of you will be saying well can i have that on the market depth and yes you can but just bear in mind it takes a little bit of thought because right now we have automation of whether you're going to have a stop or a limit order when you click just the bid column based on this uh, automatic here. Now, if we have the bids and the offers in the same column, that becomes a little bit problematic and we will have to have slightly different uh, ways to click to order when we do that. So we're just thinking that through right now, not in a great hurry to do it. The other thing we've done, we've integrated the JSS services. Oh, I'll just close that, I don't actually needed it. So this is in the plugin version. What we're doing now, because we're about a month away from the release, we're bringing stuff across from the plugin version to this version. So we can load the levels from the JSS software, show the variance. Also, as normal, we can actually see those on the Vista chart as well. And then finally, we've got the Price Squawk software. Click there to open Price Squawk. It will remember Price Squawk settings in your workspace. If you want to turn Price Squawk off, you can see that the X there is disabled. You just click here to turn it off. So that's what's in this beta release of Profit Bench, not Rapid Trader. Uh, we are about a month away from both releasing this and a fairly hefty price rise. So if you're not on board already, I would advise you buy this now. And that is not a sales pitch that we're going to reduce the price. We are actually going to rise, increase the price. So uh, thank you all for listening and uh, hopefully it'll be another beta release next week as we wind this up. Thank you.